Now that you know how to render a scene, let's go ahead and look at how to change how that scene looks. And this is done primarily through lighting. I've referenced the lamp object multiple times, which, you can be, which can be found here. Now currently, if we view it from top view, you can see the lamp is on the top right side of our object here. We can see this more clearly if we switch to camera view by hitting zero on our number pad. And if you hit render, or render image, you'll see how it's lit. Well, let's go ahead and move that light around and see how that affects it. So from top view, perhaps just hit G to move your lamp while it's selected and move it over to the left side of the camera and then hit render. And you can see how it's adjusted the lighting effects. Well, what if, like any like a mesh object, we go ahead and hit shift D to duplicate that lamp. And you'll now see that it's being lit from both sides. And so you can change the lighting any way that you want. However, there's a lot of different side settings within these lamps that we can modify. And you can access these settings by going over to the lamp properties here. First off, you can see your preview right here, which shows that it's a fairly bright lamp or fairly soft lamp, actually. It's using the point lamp type, and then you can change that to a sun, spot, hemi, or area, which I won't talk about for the time being. But you can also change the lamp color. So perhaps this is going to be a blue lamp. We can tell it to be a negative such that it takes away light. We can tell it to affect only this one layer within the 3D view, which I've not covered, but you can find through here. It allows you to work with layers, much like Photoshop. You can tell it whether to affect the specular or the shininess value of your model, or the diffuse to affect the coloring or the lighting. And there, so there's a fair, fair few other settings, but the primary one that you'll look at are the color and the energy. Let's perhaps turn this energy down and we've changed it to a blue color, which then, if we go over and hit render, we can see how that's affecting it. So it's mostly being affected on this side, and you can see it's bleeding over a little bit there. Perhaps if we move this over a little more to the top, and then hit render, we can see that it's having a bit more effect there. We can change this lamp to any color that we want, or we can leave it at the default, anything that we wish. Perhaps we'll increase the energy on it, and then decrease the energy on this one and then hit render. You can also have a shortcut key to render by just hitting F5 on your keyboard. So these are very, very simple lamps. Well, what about if we want to add a new lamp? You know, we can duplicate lamps any way that we want, but maybe we don't want to have to worry about changing all the settings over or we want to keep these settings. Well, just like you can add mesh objects, you can hit Shift A to add a lamp object here, here, which then allows you to set it with any of the default settings, such as an area, Hemi, Spot, or Sun. Let's go ahead and just add a Sun Lamp, and we'll move it over, and then perhaps from the front view, we'll rotate it and move it up. From the side view, or top view, we'll rotate it around so that it's now pointing directly at our object. And if we hit F12, we can see how that's affecting it. You can see it's very, very bright. And that's very cool. Let's go ahead and delete our blue lamp by selecting it with right mouse button, hit X and delete vertices or delete. And then we can maybe move this over to get a little bit more of a backlighting to it and then hit F12 and see how it's looking. So this is very cool. Perhaps we'll rotate this around a bit more and turn the energy down just a little bit so it's not quite so bright. So you can see how playing with the lighting allows you to modify the way that the scene looks just like adjusting the lighting in a room affects the way that the room looks. So these are very basic lamps within Blender that you can set to point, sun, spot, hemi, or area for various different purposes. You can adjust the color, the energy, the location, the size, and the type of these lamps. You can adjust the shadows and, and a lot of other different settings that can affect your, your scene very, very easily and dramatically. I highly encourage you to play with lighting and become very comfortable with it as it is the key to rendering out a good image perfect scene that that's both a pleasure to look at but also that illustrates your model effectively.